Hey guys, Dane Shawson back here with part 78 of Exploring the Mind of Maxwell Marshall. Today we're meeting him for the first time. We're actually at his house. I'm scared. Just, just go in. Just go. That's odd. Why are the lights off? Oh. Oh my. I was doing my nighttime crutch yoga. How's it been? It's been good. Yeah, I didn't expect it until I was a little freaked out. <laughs> uh, we're two hours late. <laughs> Funny how that works. <laughs> so why don't I show you fellows around? <laughs> All right, let's go. Well, over here, I got my little uh, workout area. Mm -hmm. uh, the FBI is still investigating this, so it's kind of uh, cut off for certain things I did. This is actually where my uh, my thirteen cats uh, thirteen use the bat. Yes, thirteen cats. I'm I'm an animal guy. This is um this is the uh, this is where I keep the bodies. <laughs> Let's go. Um, this is uh yeah. I just got this recarpeted after all the blood that was on it. Um, you know, blood and stuff. Uh. Um, let's keep walking, why don't we, please? I'm here to, I'm here, you told me to come here, so let's please keep it serious. Thank you. This is where my uh, children eat. How many children do you have? I have uh, 17. Um, this is where I keep my guns. Oh, let's keep going. This is actually my uh, gaming slash uh, Twitch streaming slash uh, sleeping slash... Uh, Anything else, really. This is pretty much where I do everything. This is everything right here. This is pretty much my entire house right here. Nothing else matters. This is, uh, this is where, um, this is actually where I eat. This is actually where I eat, yeah. Uh, besides the pump table? Yeah, besides the 13 other rooms upstairs. Uh, let's keep going. Why this do you keep like, everything in the basement? Because, I don't know, the basement is just like the most vibrant area, you know? I mean, like like you saw before, this is my yoga area. This is one of my cats. His name is Jeffrey. Come here, kitty. Come here, kitty. I don't know, he really likes this this uh, Dane guy. Alright, let's keep going. Keep up. Can, uh, uh, we're just gonna have a little side note. Yeah, we're just gonna chat for a little bit. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's chill. Do you think he's a psychopath? I mean, we're gonna have to see, but I mean, at this rate, yeah. Wow. Fine, kitty. Max? Oh, hey guys. Okay, I'm gonna show you the rest of the house. So if we keep going up here, uh, this is just the stairwell, I guess. You deal like that. Um, this is, uh, I'm moisturize you, you know, you need them all over the house. We have them placed randomly, but that's what my servants do. Um, this is the, uh, first servant bedroom, because they all live with me. They all, all of them. Uh, you can fit about five of them on one bed. And, uh, see, I like to keep it cheap. Um, over here we got, like, the, the one toilet that they all get. This is, they all get one toilet. See, there's only one. A singular toilet. Okay, let's keep going. Our, our average temperature is about 35 degrees. Um, oh, that's the wrong light. Sorry, there's like 10 light switches. <laughs> Architect. Here, this is basically where I keep, like, Anything I need business wise. That's like all my uh that's like everything I have. This is this is my career. Right here. Right here. Also in here, this is where I keep all my uh Gucci, Versace, any all designer. Uh this is actually my personal favorite. It's called uh Grand Denial. Let's keep moving. If if you're wondering why all the shades are down in the house, it's because uh, some of my servants don't like lights. Like as, as in general, they just don't like it. 
These are all uh, personal molds of my uh, servants. They like they like me to remember them, you know. Also, they all play baseball. Even as a businessman of my caliber, uh, I'm still in middle school. This is where I keep all the food. Do you, do you, do you want anything? Can I have like pizza? Well, uh, I mean, in this house, we don't really believe in solid food. Like, uh, I don't know, we only have liquid. You guys want something to eat? Uh, can I have like a root beer? Yeah, I got you. I mean, root or normal? <laughs> My, uh, Lamborghini Aventador. Very pricey. Over here, we got the, uh, we got the Ferrari Enzo. Very, very nice, very nice. Here, we got the, uh, Porsche 911. Very particular. Uh, this is my favorite. I love it. Also, you don't know, I'm an avid biker, and I I love I love to uh, <laughs> see. Funny, these, this is all baseball equipment. I don't actually play baseball. <laughs> my favorite vehicle to ride. It's it's actually a caravan. My servants drive it. I need about ten of them at a time. I just sit on the back of it. Um, and yeah, it works pretty well. It's faster, because it, trust me, 10 servants versus a V10. This is my first uh, cat I ever got. We called him uh, Dornage. What happened to him? Oh, I called the rest of them. We actually ga uh, gave him off, you know. Helping the homeless. So, do you think we could start the interview? Yeah, we could. I got the perfect place. I want to. I want to let you meet someone. He's not really like a servant, more like executive servant. So we're gonna meet him. This is uh, this is actually Hayden Marshall, uh, one of my uh, one of the three colleagues. Wake up, buddy! Ah, not again. Not again. Wake up. Sorry, go. Sorry, go. Sorry. Tell the camera. Oh, hey, what's up, YouTube? What's poppin'? <laughs> Wait. It's a normal vlog? Well, no, it's not. Sorry. I forgot to tell him about this. It's not a normal vlog today. Oh, okay. Why do you have a seat? Uh, we have the other guy. He's upstairs. He's scavenging through the, the food the food pantry. Right. So, uh, I was talking to a lot of other um, channels and, you know, people who have close connections with Max Marshall, they all say that, you know, you're his only hope. Yeah. They're definitely right. I, I'm all he has. We're best friends. Yeah. Isn't there another <laughs> member in Marshall Madness? Yeah, I don't know what Max did to him. Who, who knows where he is, you know? So, all those videos that you make, you know, uh, pranks and whatnot, Everything that you guys do, are those real? Yeah, they're all 100% fake. Uh, you just do it for money, for the views. Yeah, they're all, it's all, it's none of it's real. None of it. Some people may say that you guys are even uh, manipulating children with the, your merch. Yeah, we definitely, Max has this rule, it's about like 90% of the videos have to be all about the merch. Which, by the way, fanjoy slash marshallmadness backslash dot com. That's where you can get your merch. But, um, yeah, that's, yeah, it's definitely all about the merch. Okay. And also, all of our fans are kids, so. So, uh, you know about the allegations that Jeremy T made about the sub box and the like box. So, uh, what do you have to say about that? Well, one of our servants, we thought, we gave her the password to the Martial Madness account, and she did use like bots and sub bots, but um, so you guys knew about this? Well, we trusted our servant. Is she still one of your servants? Just like our other member of Marshall Mendes, I'm not quite sure what Max did to her.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're filming, right? Yeah, we're we're rolling. We're going. So we're ready to record, and you press the red dot. That yeah, I I clicked it, and then now it's now it's filming. So when you film, it saves the everything that you're filming, so that we can yeah. edit it. Yeah, so basically I'm gonna I'm gonna film it and then it's gonna save my footage. So to work on the documentary, yeah, yeah, the mind of the the, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. We're filming. All right, all right. Where do I start? Oh yes, um, about a year ago on January 18th, you uh, spread out a very controversial tweet that had a lot of people talking about. And a quote, LMAO, you are fat, lol. I thought it was funny. It clearly wasn't. And, I mean, I understand that, but, I mean, you know, you know how that could offend people. Yeah. You know, being obese is a serious thing, and you can't just throw that word around like that. Now that I see it, like, you're not like, like, a fat guy. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I guess I don't really understand what you're saying, but couldn't you just delete the tweet and that could maybe help solve some problems? Because to this day, I you're mean, still getting hate for it. To be honest, like, it was like, yesterday. Um, so, uh, do you think we're ready to... Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm... So, um, another thing that has brought up a lot of controversy and have, has really gotten people talking, you can say, is you're always seem to be using Cheetos in your videos. But, I mean, you know when it's a sponsored video, you have to say it's a sponsor, right? Like, I mean... It's like... I just... I didn't really care. So, were you sponsored by Cheetos? I mean... Like... It's just a yes or no. Sorry, I'm being... Wait a second. Recently, it's just been... Cheetos hasn't really been sponsoring me lately. Was it ever sponsoring you? In the early days. We were, we were a lot closer. It's just... I haven't really needed them anymore. So it's like... It's been like all about the merch. Knowing that... You can get your merch at www.fanjoy.com So, what was your childhood like? I think the whole world has been more than of this. I mean, I grew up in northern Yukon, like, like way northern Yukon territory, like, Canada. So far north, it's like, like we're talking Arctic Ocean, but like, like my parents didn't like all the, the snow and stuff, like, so they, they like, moved to Haiti, and like, we basically bought a caravan, like, Me and my 18 and a half brothers and sisters, we like, we all had to like live in it. It's, I had to sleep with six of them on a single couch. 
I was not trying to like get sick and all. Cause like, you don't know what's gonna happen to Caravan, bro. So like, I dipped, I went to Upper Wisconsin. I like went around for a little bit. Eventually came to Milwaukee, where I like started my YouTube career. And it's just didn't uh, Hayden and Sage Marshall technically create the channel? I mean, like I don't like to talk about him, but like Sage, he kind of in the early years just. He like he kind of started it, but like I just had to get rid of him. So where is he now? Exactly. Remember when I told you earlier where I keep the bodies?